outdoor gear and I've got shorts on <laughs> I'm in Miami I'm in a really cool place it's called quick e-bikes in uh, China Grove Miami area we're actually gonna take one of their tours their brand new place we're gonna ride from Miami all the way to the end of the Keys 160 miles roughly it's gonna take us three days and quick e-bikes is gonna take us there but uh man look at this look how cool this place is man it absolutely is gorgeous. They have done such a great job making this completely awesome. Let's go in and talk to these guys. How are you doing? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. So this is brand new. How long have you been here? We started back in November, so we've been in business for about three months. Three months? A little over, yep. And what do you offer? What is, what's this, what are you doing here? What is this? Uh, we're doing a rental activity for anybody that comes to Miami. We have these 26 inch mountain bikes and we also have the 20 inch three wheel trikes for the people that are a little more inexperienced. Where are we at exactly? Our exact location is 2688 Southwest 28th Lane. Mm. Uh, we're in the community of Coconut Grove, which is a, just another community inside of Miami. I gotcha. And when we came up, there's quite a few hotels. What are, how many of the hotels are around here? Uh, we have Quite, quite a few here in Coconut Grove. Yeah. The closest one we have to us is the Hampton Inn. It's literally across the street from us. Nice. And then you have the Ritz Carlton and the Mutiny and so on and so nice. on. What kind of activities can you do if you rent one of these? What is it that you say? Oh man, I'm glad you asked. You can go down through Coconut Grove and they have something called the Coco Walk. Mm -hmm. You can ride through there. It's a beautiful, they got artwork, a lot of places to eat. There's actually a marina down at the other end of Coconut Grove. Nice. You can see as many sailboats as you can count. Uh, iguanas run wild here, yeah. so it's pretty much endless. Cool. Uh, the tours that you do, I know that's brand new to, to y'all. It's you brand guys? new. Uh, What's the future this, there? This weekend, we're planning a Key West tour mm -hmm. from here. Uh, it's 160 miles one way, and it's going to be a really fun trip. There'll be more for y'all to see later. Yeah. But right now, we're going to do a Venetian Causeway tour which is where you got your, what they call mega houses. A lot of stars live over there. Nice. Uh, we're gonna do private tours for any couple that wants to come and just want to guide and feel safe within the city. Yeah. Any, anything around this area we can do. Yeah. When Miami's really kind of congested, do they allow, how does bikes fare through this? It's, it's a really bike friendly town mm -hmm. or city if you will. You got plenty of bike lanes uh, on your main streets. The bikes always have the right of way. A lot of people will yield to you, so. Nice. I wouldn't be afraid of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm excited about this trip. We're gonna be leaving first thing in the morning. What time, uh, what time are we leaving out of here? Gonna leave around 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Nice, how many people are coming? We got six on the itinerary. Nice, 160 miles. <laughs> are we up? And we have extra batteries. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to carry a few extra batteries. Shouldn't be a big deal as far as the first stop at the first campground. Everything should go as planned. Nice. All right. If it doesn't, I'm filming it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, I think we're going to be great. We, they've got tons of batteries, tons of uh, just such cool uh, accessories. You just don't uh, get this type of stuff. Man, we got Bluetooth speakers that are, that are compatible for any, any phone. Uh, comes with a flashlight. A phone holder. Nice. All of our bikes have LED lighted up wheels, and we also 
give a GoPro action cam so that you can oh, wow. record your entire experience. And we offer all of this at no extra charge. It's That's just included with the bike. And the camera, and how do they get the film? Um, we'll actually, we actually have SD cards that you can purchase. Yeah. That's the only additional charge. Nice. Uh, we are looking into an, an app to where we can just airdrop your video to you, wipe that SD card, and keep it there. It won't be any charge. But until we get that, we, we're going to have to, you know, sell the card for now. I understand. Well, how cool is that? I am super excited. And I got a couple of special guests that are coming too that I'm really excited that are coming with us. Other than that, I'm starving, man. We've driven nine or ten hours to get here, so we're going to go grab something to eat and we're going to take off first thing in the morning. Thank you, Melvin, for your time. Hey, thank Appreciate you. you. Thanks, All right. Let's get out of here. Let's do that. Can you log to the All right, we're about to leave. We've got the e bikes ready. My man Gene's coming with us. We just met him. Melvin's going to stay here. We got Dutch. What's up, Dutch? Got Dutch with us. Got Kelly with me. You've seen him on my videos. And we got a support band. <laughs> yeah, what is, how cool is this? We've got a support fam. I got Daisy with us. And this is the van that is going to follow us. Hey, this is Sylvie. Hey, nice to meet you. She's going to be our support van. She's going to ride this. I would call the Swamper. Swamper. And who is this right here? Hey Jefferson. Hey Jefferson. He's working right now. He's working. He's working. Security. Hey, security. Security got the security vest on. Gotta show him your vest. So he doesn't like me look. He doesn't like me touching his butt. Awesome. Thank you for helping us. Awesome. Heck yeah. So we're about to take off. Are you guys about ready to roll out? Yeah, we're all we're wrapping it up. Uh, kinda. If you got ready, then. That's perfect. So 160 miles. Why am I so nervous? I don't know why I'm nervous. 160 miles. I just did 190 miles. I'll post that one right there. I don't know. It's just a bunch more people. Let's get ready to get on the bike. We are off on another adventure. My phone is telling me where to go. There we go. So we're about to get bike. It's a little nerve wracking being in the city, but I think that's going to be the rule of thumb regardless. I don't think we're going to, I don't think that's going to change the whole way. This is all city the entire way. That's definitely different than all my other trips. <sighs> Having to deal with traffic. See them all back there? It's like six of us. A neat place, man. Guess it's got his own little jungle here as well, huh? This is the start of it right here. This is the start of our ride. From here, it's 160 miles. I guess this is the part where the trip begins. I wanted you to see it. Coconut Grove Self Club. But yeah, let's do it, man. Now it's time to ride. Even though this is uh, crowded, it's absolutely awesome. Neat little ride. And it's so beautiful. I think the temperature that's gonna be 66 is the lows, 81 is the highs. Very low humidity, it's winter time here in uh, Miami. Look how crazy this is. Florida's always been cool for the like their uniqueness. Look at this. Yeah, mile marker one, right there. Marker one. I think it's pointless. Who is The official start is up here in this giant circle. That's a dope. Yeah, that's a huge tree. In the world. These crazy looking trees. This is awesome. There are a bunch of walkers and cyclists. I know I'm going to burn up a bunch of batteries. I don't know how long this video is going to be. <laughs> it's hard to turn it off. Okay, there's a the popo. Everybody act normal. Bless you. Crazy houses. All right, we're on the Commodore Trail. All right, got a little bit lost. We're having to follow this, but everybody's doing good now. Got a lot of chiefs trying to figure life out. They have uh, quite a few trails. I think we're on the right trail now. Yeah, now we're on the right trail. So I'm gonna turn this up to pedal assist three just to catch up with them. 
yeah this is pretty crazy i mean it's fun man don't get me wrong turn this back down that assist too crossing the water here. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It is not cold here at all. He's wearing full body suit. My man Gene. Look at that. What's up, bro? He's listening to some Jamaican music. Look at this. That's crazy. <laughs> this is insane. So it's got a nice little bike trail. It's telling me where to go. But this is nice. And you're not having to deal with the the traf the traffic. A little bit a little bit bumpy. So far so good. It's such a beautiful freaking place, man. What's up, guys? Look at this. Bridge crossing. Wow. Look at that. That's the ocean over there. So we'll be on this for about 0.3 miles and we'll get back on the trail. Look, everybody's back there. Here they come. All right. Guess I'm going too fast. Slow down a little bit. We missed the trail through there. That's why we ended up in that little stretch. Good Kelly. Got him. Back on the trail. This is kind of cool. Oh Lord Jesus. A little bit bumpy. Didn't get over. So 60 miles of this. We should be done in about four hours. We might try to find some lunch. I, I don't have my, I gotta look at my phone. Try to get some Cuban food. So it looks like we're picking up the old Cutler Trail. Getting too far ahead. Letting everybody get caught up. The Dutch went on ahead waiting on everybody. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. What I'm talking about. All right, we're all here together. So we're at mile marker 50 at the moment. We're gonna turn left up here. Battery's doing good. How's your battery doing? Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Daisy. How's your battery doing? Good. Good? How's your battery doing, bud? Good. Set on full. Good. All right, everybody's going good. I think we got to turn left. So it says the bike path is on the left side. Go to the left. Yeah. So we should cross over. crazy the path has pretty much been just like this i haven't filmed a lot we're at 47 miles right now and some crazy beautiful homes the road is all paved a little bit bumpy but not that bad but yeah i just haven't filmed because it's not that's cool it's just really cool homes and it passed a really neat spring but it went by so quick i, I didn't get the camera out fast enough just riding this is kind of what we're seeing called a trail shelter which is pretty cool that's just for the, the bike trail or whatever if it's raining I saw a sign about it, it said trail shelter half mile I wanted to check that out it's got a trash can couple of chairs so it's really cool got a little too far ahead again but here they come right there like a bunch of Harley guys on bicycles you know what I'm talking about this is the uh, no hand group right here hold on What's up, bud? That's fun. Everybody's trying to conserve battery life. What was that song that gets that other song out of your head? 
Everybody was kung fu fighting. I got this one song stuck in my head, but she told me how to get rid of one song. When you have one song stuck in your head and you can't think of another, so everybody is kung fu fighting. So we'll put that one in my head now. This should be pretty. It's gonna be right next to like a stream or something, like maybe a canal. It's crazy how clear that water is. I think it's spring. The last one, the last spring I passed had these fencing in it. These are a little bit nerve wracking. Isn't it weird when you're up in the mountains, the water is so clear, and then you're down here in, in Florida and the water's clear. But if you're in South Carolina, it looks like chocolate milk. So far, so good. It's neat to see the coconuts. There's my team right there. I've been seeing like ducks and uh, oh, Lord, oh Lord. Oh, there's a turtle getting his son on yeah like that there's some ducks right there look where's the gators at 44 more miles lost one bar one bar out of five what do you see oh, oh there's a, a one yeah i don't think i don't think i'll be able to catch that that's big though right. you tap it it's good eating he's like right there the good eating yeah it tastes like chicken tastes like chicken all right you shouldn't be right there if you're tasting like chicken. Some giant iguanas here. There's another one right there. It's hard to see them though, on the camera. Or well, you're gonna see a bunch of iguana on this trip. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Yeah. Pretty much riding next to this thing. It's kind of cool. Got my buddies back there behind me. Hey guys, can you see me? Everybody's kind of put fight in. Everybody's kind of paired up with their buddies. You got them two, them two back there. Me and Dutch would probably hang out if I was not trying to make sure everybody else is okay. How you doing, bud? What are you doing? Everything's good. Everything's good? Keeping up the pace. That's what I'm talking about. How's your battery? Still on five. Still on five? Nice. So we should be fine. We're on five. We've got 46 more miles to go. Started at, I think, 62. But we've gone 20 miles pretty soon. Trying to keep a pace of about 15 miles per hour. So we'll be there roughly four hours, which it's right now the 10.08, 11, 12, 1, 2, 2 o'clock. So no rush. No rush. Dutch got his hat off. I ain't playing no games. Waiting for our boys. We're gonna make a ride up here. Checkpoint. Boom. Straight across. There you go. Then you go straight across and I'll make a U-turn. Straight across, across that. Yeah, just make straight that way. Here comes our buddies. So go straight that way. What's up, buddy? Followed all the way around. Uh oh. Uh oh, a manatee. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go check this out. Oh, I see him. Yeah, do you see? There's a manatee right there. There's one right there. Oh, you missed it, though. You came out first of the uh, first month. Uh huh. Yeah, three black tip sharks in here. Really? Yeah, never seen them in here before. They, they was getting some groceries. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby one. I'm gonna get in there and swim with them. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I wanna ride one. No, you can't, you can't, you can't touch them at all, brother. They're super protected. Well, they can ride me. I didn't touch them, you know what I mean? Wow, that is crazy. It's big, too. If you see that, it, does that mean there's no fish in here? Cause you go, or? Nah, plenty of fish in here. Okay. It's only when um, you get the dolphins to come in. Yeah. Back that way by the restaurant, every, every, two to three weeks dolphins run through here about three to five dolphins mm -hmm. spook the fish about 30 minutes out there to leave you'll, they'll come back ah so you get plenty of dolphins come through here you get um what are those peacock bass uh probably close to the, on, on the edge but yeah. they're on the uh, opposite side of the uh, floodgate oh okay this is brackish brackish gotcha oh, cool little baby one too that's awesome yeah man's here at Black Point Marina. Oh, y'all want to eat? Damn. It's 10.30. It's a little early. Yeah, a little but early. After this, there's nothing down there. Yeah. Hmm. 
Is this the marina she's supposed to meet us at? Yeah, she said she's here. So the van is here at Black, was this Black Tip? Uh, Black, Black Point. Point. Black Point. Where did I get tip from? You see what I'm talking about? Oh, because he said Black Tip Shark. Black Tip Shark, that's right. So I think we got like two minutes that way still. You get to the marina? to my map. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, there ain't going to be nothing that way. Nothing? Not marina related. Marina related. So do you want to eat? Y'all want to eat there? Is that the plan? Well, do if we don't, we got to go all the way to Key Largo, yeah, basically. All the way to Key Largo. Gotcha. So probably... Through the, uh, through the swamp? Through the swamp. I don't mind eating. We missed breakfast. I, I hadn't eaten. I, I mean, yeah. if it's going to be four or five hours before yeah. we got a chance to get food, I, I'd rather eat. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So we're going to go grab something to eat. It's only 1030, but uh, it's not too bad. Looks like I'm going the wrong way. Hey! Hey, where's the bridge? I was gonna go to cross. Got y'all. <laughs> Got you. Just wasting y'all's battery. <laughs> so don't take the first one. Look at this. That's cool. I'm on a little peninsula. But I guess it's this way. We're trying to get to that restaurant right there. So let's grab something to eat. None of us ate breakfast. Good luck, bud. Good morning. Hey guys. Little pelican. We're gonna go grab us something neat. We just stopped trying to get a plan. Uh, we're gonna change the route a little bit so it's a little bit faster uh, and not be on Highway One, which is the way that uh, my GPS is telling me. Dang, there's some big boats. Motorcycles only. Hey, that's awesome. Restaurant don't open up for 20 minutes, so I guess it starts at 11. We're gonna chill and wait till it's open. Hey, pretty kitty. Wow. This place is so cool. Huh. Oh, let's look at the menu. What's up, bud? Hey, how are you? Good, man. Good. Oh, you want a drink? Sweet tea? Sweet tea, I got you. Feels great in here, too. All right, let's order something. Enjoy, guys. Thanks, bud. All right, look at this. What'd you get, bud? Tuna? Man, that looks so good. My mouth is watering. It is awesome. All right, let's eat. I am so full. That was delicious. I got to run and get my wallet so I can pay. Left it on the... Uh, on the motorcycle, you know what I'm talking about? Look at those, quickie bike. That is so cool. So it's been a great trip. Now I'm, my belly's full of pasta. I don't want to do nothing. All right, let's get on this bike and let's get out of here. Boom. So the rest of this isn't going to be any traffic, really? No, not really. It's going to be uh, a lot of marsh. A lot of marsh. Which is not going to be what? Traffic, yeah. yeah. Not not this next version part. It's going to be neat. Neat. Man, I'm gonna come back and everyone's gonna be like, where'd you get that great tan? Jealous. Gonna be jealous. That's what I would tell them. All right, we're gonna stop up here. With the, the restaurant's directly behind me. We're gonna stop right up in here and grab some water. Oh. Let's see, this might be a place for, get a bottle of water. Hey, can I, you got bottles of water here? Yes. Our gator. Right Boom. Perfect. Oh, wow. Good night. Oh, I haven't played no games. Oh, good night. I'm gonna get Gatorade. Are you cold? Got oh, a blanket? Yes. No way. Yeah, do your work. Yes, super comfortable. Thank you. You're good to go. Have a good day. Thank you for the drink. I keep forgetting my wallet. So we are ready to ride. Or no, we're not. You getting a drink? Yeah. I was gonna grab a drink. This little basket thing here will hold. See here. Get it. So it holds that and it actually has a little I think it has a little clip or something that'll hold it, but that should be fine. Right there. We got another meeting spot so we can change out the batteries. It's like an hour. Just double check. Take a slight left turn onto the road. Turn right. 
right onto the shared path. Sure. Then turn left onto the road. Look at those little overlanders. Hey, you know what this is? Ghost bike? Yeah. Ghost bike means somebody died here on a bike, which sucks. What that means. All right, let's get figured this. Let's figure this thing out. There's iguanas like everywhere. Look at this. They're jumping in the water. Look at this. Look, look, look. He just ran in there. They're all jumping in the water. Well, he got a little bit split up. Dutch is going one way, which is fine. We're both going the same spot. There's, there's two different ways. And he's at a place that says uh, it's under construction. So <laughs> we'll see what happens here. But uh, the rest of the crew is here. Where we're going now is no shade, straight sun. We're in Florida and we're pretty much all by ourselves out here, which is crazy. They're, they have done such a good job with the bike trail so far. I've, we're still early so we got 20 miles to our next stop where uh we'll do a battery swap it's a bunch of uh vultures right there oh they're all again the shade <laughs> it's too hot huh y'all need to go up north but uh all right yeah there it is huh. man it's hard to turn this thing off it's so pretty here they come Y'all jamming. Y'all ain't playing no games. Straight out of Compton, guys. All the quick e-bikes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So we got on the road a little, for a little bit, and then we'll hop off. Dutch is actually going the right way. He's going the, the path where it's like dirt road and stuff like that. What's up, buddy? But this way, we're going the same direction. But uh, I'm kind of curious what Dutch's uh, experience is compared to mine. I wish I put a camera on him. But he would probably do something silly with it. Hello, well. So we're going to ride on this for just a little bit. We're going to take the first bridge to the Keys, which is more remote we just got to get there i think this is a bus lane i've not seen any cars on it bus lane and a bike lane i guess uh, it's just nothing but buses going back and forth but i am so glad for these clouds because it's just straight sun beating on you you know what i mean if you're gonna do this trip bring some uh some sauce it's you know what i'm talking about all right here we go it's the east coast trail look at the water it's freaking clear it's insane What's that? What's that? All those little lizards. That's a big lizard. Yeah, just, I think they have their own bus lane. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Huh. This is crazy. I hope I'm not messing up or nothing. I think they're working on the bike lane right there. Because the buses go by here pretty quickly. Am I doing the right thing? Yeah. Uh oh. I get back on this bike lane right here. Because these buses fly by here. There we go. Oh, helicopter up there. I was wondering, what's that sound? Oh, there's restaurants and gas stations and stuff all down so far. The way we were supposed to go, it was it was going to be pretty rural area. Okay. Hold on. There's a bunch of this right now. It's not stressful. So I got to make a left turn that way. 
times. Let's do this without dying. Cool, they've got these green green path right through here. I could go right now. Let me get over there. Let's go. Alright. Alright, we're about to go here. There we go. Got these little green. Alright, we're on this for four hour four miles. Everglades Green Trail. That's pretty cool. It's all agricultural, which is really neat. I've been on the same road. It just swapped over to uh, to this. I'm in, uh, I believe, Homestead. Uh, so I'm not on the islands just yet. I got to get across the, go across the bridge. I don't know if I told you. I'm just going to repeat myself. I left my keys. I was swapping out my little cup holder. You know, the little cup holder that goes like right here on the side. I went on and gave it to Daisy and I put my keys in there. So whatever reason, when I took this off, I just was walking it over to her and I just dropped those right on the ground. So they uh, they shot me a text saying, I found these keys on the uh, on the cement. And uh, dude, we we're already like 20 miles in. I'm like, dang, that sucks. They're right on the ground, right at the bike shop. I have my extra battery with me. It's on my, my back, my bike but I can't swap this battery out. I'm gonna try to get there. I have 32 miles till I get to uh, actual camp um, and I have two bars, so no telling if I'll be able to make it or not, we'll see. But uh, that's kind of my goal, kind of giving you a heads up. This is what I'm driving in. Isn't that neat? And the traffic's not terrible, today's Friday. There's some stadium right there, that's kind of cool. Don't act stupid. There we go, get back on the road. I'm not paying attention. That's neat. A, uh, Greenway Trail, I guess. Homestead, Miami. Huh. I don't know what that sound is. It must be cars. I, I, for a minute there, I thought it was motorcycles, but I definitely is. This is the Homestead, Miami Speedway. It just sounds like... Car. Well, there's... Go-karts there. That's cool. Such a cool place. Palm trees and racing and beaches and a sunburn probably coming. Looks like they're doing something. So it looks like there's a bike trail at the stop sign. There's nobody on this road. That's crazy. And there's a bike trail. Okay. There's a jet. All right. Well, there's the speedway. Road's closed. I think that was for motor vehicles, though. I think we can go. Okay. No motor vehicles. This is for bikes. Right. It says it's a bike trail. So, we'll see what this looks like. We're on this for seven miles. What? <laughs> Look at this, man, this is crazy. I wish I had my battery, or my uh, my keys. Oh man, I hate making mistakes like that. It'd be sweet if this was all downhill, you know what I'm talking about? Man, this road is beating me up, oh. I mean, it's nothing but Everglades, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and this is this road is for uh, seven miles, and it's just pounding. But it has not been well taken care of. Just wanted to come in and let you see. I've been on it for two miles now and it is insane isn't that crazy i'm tired this is beating me up on top of that it's like 12 hour drive here and then five hours of cycling and it just wear you out you know Whew. just been riding in the Everglades for our seven miles i'm about to come up to the road here um Okay, so this is a little bit weird. Oh, 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 oh that's cool. 
okay. People are tired. I'm waiting for the van to come and drop off my, my battery. I should jump in that water. I, am hot. I have no idea. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 83. 0% chance of rain. I'm in Homestead. I'm still on mainland. I'm about to get on the bridge here. This is the road. That's a little nerve wracking. How, how long am I on this road for? That's gonna suck. In route, bike route, two hours. So I'm on this for seven miles. Ugh, all right. Just sit here and wait for my battery to get here and then we'll change the battery. And I got 24 miles, which I could, I could probably do less than two hours. Back on the road. When I was waiting for the van, guess who lined up? I got Dutch with me now. The other guys are about seven miles behind us talking to the support van. Got full charge. We only gotta go 23 miles, so we're on pedal assist three, uh, going 20 miles per hour, so. There it goes. Awesome. We're gonna try to get there in an hour. It is almost three o'clock right now, so. Hey, four, 4.30. We're on Old Dixie Highway, which about four and a half miles. We'll be on a bridge to get on to the Keys, and then we'll be on that for about two and a half miles before we get on a bike path. And this road is not forgiven. These guys are flying on this road. They don't care. We're about to get on the bridge. This has been a neat little ride. We, we're on a, like a strip of dirt. Welcome to the Keys. <laughs> What I'm talking about. There's a restaurant right here. This is cool. Really cool. I just wish there was a road, uh, like a path or, uh, for bikes. The wind just picked up. Crazy amount of wind. And it is right in my face. LOL. This is gonna suck get on this bridge all right come on it is not liking this come on we got downhill too it's fishing it's been removed oh, come on look how pretty that is that's insane oh wow that is so neat a wind is right in my face Come on, buddy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, now we're starting to pick up steam. As soon as I get back in these trees, it'll hopefully calm down. All right, so we got two and a half miles here, and then we'll get on, on a bike trail and get off of this road. Crocodile Lake. We're in the Keys. That was crazy. As I was riding, there was nobody, nobody coming. I was worried about that. Water's so clear, it's crazy. So we're on this for another mile and six minutes. Uh, we got a bike lane now. Look what I'm looking at. It's like water on both sides of me. All right, so you gotta follow this all the way down to the end. Yeah, let's go right here. Man, it's starting to get cool, which is nice. Oh, man, I'm just gonna do gas on it. This is the Key Largo campground. So here it is right here. Followed all the way down. So it wasn't telling me right, that's the weird part. All right, let's see. Hey, buddy. All right, and then we gotta find our home. Where is okay so I, I came in and where is the uh, where's our spot where do we go all right let's go absolutely no bikes Oops. mine is two I am super done I know 
gonna need some ibuprofen. Here it is. Let's find out where we're at. Please use the other door. Oh, this door. Oh, well. Hey. Hi. Chris Wright. Is this us? Yes. Yeah, a couple more people are coming. Let's go find camp. Really cool campground. There's the pool. There it is. Hey. Down. Do we have power? Do we have power here? Okay, thank God. I was like, oh my gosh, do we have power here? You made it. We made it, and I brought Dutch with me. Woo! Got him. All right. So we're the first ones. Is there, do we have two camps? No, well, one of them's here and then one of them is that like sliver over there. They're separated a little bit. Gotcha. We've got this one, guy, two. Uh, Roland is in between us. Roland. From the Czech Republic. Very gotcha. Nice. Oh, nice. All right, well, let's, um, let's, let's get set up. Man, this is a great place for, for hammocks. Look at this. I was really nervous that we wouldn't have trees. That is not a problem. I'm thinking I'm gonna set up like from right there to right there. That should be plenty. Hey, my What's up, buddy? Is the whole biking crew from there? Uh, yeah, they're coming. Yeah. They're not all here yet. I heard, yeah. Yeah, they're still coming. They're behind us a little bit. Yeah, you guys feel free, you know. I have a seven year old, but if you want to sit down, celebrate, feel free. He's going to be like, you know, running around all day. It's 8 p.m. and <laughs> he's going to be dead, dead meat. So. So, this is the magic right here. My sunburn. I look sunburned. Hey Vlad, where's Leo? I don't know. I think I've seen him in the marina. In the water? No, my son was hanging out with your sister. He's yeah. gonna be on the water. No, they were feeding fish, you know. Nice breeze, so you're not gonna get any mosquitoes or I know, man. Yellow, you know, those uh, stupid flies. The flies, the little flies, yeah, how they call them, I know. So, Dutch came out with this um, quilt that you zip on and you never have to take it off. It's down, so it just packs down small. Really cool. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, well, once you put it on, you never have to worry about it. I like that. Just gotta get these zippers figured out. Now you gotta zip on your underquilt. Yep. Made the butt, isn't it? Um, well, I made a mistake on the, um, cause it, I, I did the top one. It needs to be underneath the, um, the tax, what is this called, um, taxi or, um? Yep, yep, yep. The, the, the that's a, uh, thing. The top, that other thing. I, I didn't do that. Boom. All right. We are getting somewhere now. All right. Top quilt. Two pillows. Steaks, I just need one. That little caddy makes it really nice. Boom. All right. Nailed it. So I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. I am tired. 64 miles today. But uh yeah, isn't that pretty? 
I love it. Dutchware.com. I wanted to get you caught up. It's all dark now. It's actually probably 1030 at night. The guys got here, guys and girls got here. They were covered in mud. They had a, um, a pretty tough ride because they chose a, a way that was a dirt road for a while and then it just started getting ruddy and then wind up getting very muddy and they were just stuck in a hard place well they were out in the every lade so they could they could have turned around they just kept going so for about a quarter of a mile they wind up actually just carrying their bikes through the mud it was pretty tough tensions are high and stuff a lot of people a lot of these guys have not done long distance bike riding before so a little bit of tenseness there on top of that the tenseness of you know having to carry a bike through mud and everything else it was just for like they said a quarter of a mile they it was water up to their knees uh, on this road and they just kept pushing through so when they got there the bikes were covered in mud there and they're covered in mud so they had to go take showers and once they got through the mud they got onto the road they had 15 miles till they got here so they were just trying to get here they took showers we, I, I, we all did and then we went and had pizza just been hanging around we can't have a fire here we're charging our all our batteries what a pretty place though you see this that water is crazy clear. Just didn't feel much because morale was a little bit weird. When I say weird, just had, you know, long day, muddy, hot. But I appreciate y'all watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.